Hi there, sugar cubes, gentlemen and ladies. I know this video is a bit overdue and I've been a bit overdue, like a month overdue when I told y'all when the nozzle was over, oh yeah, be ready for this, this and that. A month later, here we are and I stuck by my word. Hope y'all enjoy this as much as I do. Welcome to my Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke video and before I let the video continue I'm gonna explain the rules that I play by. Some pretty simple ones, actually it's the standard ones. So for instance, you have to nickname every single Pokemon that'll be your party team from the startup to the last Pokemon you have to the end. That's just how it goes. This is to build attraction, not that way, but I mean like a deep bond between you and the Pokemon, right? And that you grow closer to this thing over time and that it makes it that much more better and fulfilling and intense. Here's another thing. If a Pokemon dies in your team, you typically take it to the Poke Center and you release it. Some people store it and that's completely fine. Another thing that um, is a part, a part of the rules that I played, no, duplicate cores. I did this in the beginning where I I didn't have it on and then part way through I was like, it just got stupid because I had so many duplicate Pokemon, it got nuts. I forgot the one specific Pokemon I got, but it was over and over and over again. So I implemented that, which pretty much means if you already have one Pokemon, like let's say you have um, an Oddish, right? You cannot then go and have, buy, you cannot go and catch another one. It does not work that way. You can only have one at a time. So that's what I went by. And another thing is, um, if every single Pokemon in your team gets sweeped and you black out, you're gonna restart that entire thing all over again. So without further ado, I hope we're on the same page now. Another rule my smart self so clearly forgot to mention is that, and it's one of the most basic rules, is that the first Pokemon in any route you encounter, you have to catch a Pokemon. It does not matter what it is, you have to catch that Pokemon. And if you fail for whatsoever, that thing runs away and flees, or you kill it, you can no longer catch that Pokemon. You can no, 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 you can no longer catch any other Pokemon on that route. I hope we're done and we're cleared up with the rules now. All right, let's continue. Now let's make something very clear. Am I the first person to have done an Ozlock? Clearly not. There's so many, it's nuts. Like literally, search on YouTube. I think there's more Nuzlocks than there are actual Pokemon that exist, which is unfathomable in itself. And on top of that, will I be the last person to do a Nuzlocke? No, I just saw some guy on Twitch streaming the other day. So my point is, no, this is not the most original video in the world. So why watch it? Because I had the most fun and I hope you will too when you watch it. So without further ado, let's start that. Playing with me. <gasps> we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Clip that. Clip that. Suck it, Maki. You. Redemption for last time. Redemption for last time. You may wonder, what was so special about it? To that, I have to say, redemption. This clip is actually from my second and final run of the game. This gym right here. Especially Broly and his Makuhito were the reason that I lost on my first run. From being underleveled to taking one too many chances, it served me right. This was to serve as a reminder, and probably one of my biggest lessons from this game. Don't get too cocky, and don't be underprepared, which I learned very well from this point onwards. I can feel the joy from this clip almost as if it was last week. And this was last month. And, <laughs> And y'all about to, and, and y'all just saw that, right? Anyways, time to keep moving forward from this with the next clip. Thanks for the follow, Lena Grinding. Yes. All right. Before you see this first clip, allow me to give you some background information for those of y'all that don't play Pokemon. The Pokemon Abra, as you just saw in the clip, for some reason is insanely difficult to capture. And I'm not talking about like just. Oh, it's, it's like kind of hard. I mean, insanely difficult, like to the point where I've used great balls on this thing before and have somehow missed or like teleport, teleport, teleport. And that is the main reason why it's one of the hardest Pokemon to catch. Teleport is a psychic type move. The type, the type move doesn't even matter. It's the fact that it's a priority type move and Abra's already fast as it is. So 
it gets to bolt and piece out of the battle as it is. And on top of that, what made this victory even sweeter is that a viewer watching me made a bet with me. He was like, alright, if you manage to catch this Abra, first go, I'll subscribe to you. And I was like, well, it adds to the stakes, why not? So you want to know what I did? I threw that great ball. And you're about to see what happens. Ha! <laughs> and then on top of that, you're wondering, did the guy keep his word? And I was wondering the same at first. I was like, is he going to keep his word? The man did. The man did. Oh, it felt so great. It felt so great. But the sub was just an added bonus on top of catching the Abra, honestly. So, just to let y'all know. Thank you guys for welcoming me in. Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. One. Two. Oh, that's the clip of the century. Someone clip that. Someone clip that. Someone clip that. Someone better clip that. No way. Yeah. Suck it. Suck it. This fucking trainer is hot. Oof. What? The fuck? You're kidding. You dead ass gonna be joking. To any hardcore Pokemon fans shaking their heads at what just happened, allow me to explain. And this is gonna be a long one, so I'm gonna read straight off the script, so apologize if I don't look straight up here. It's not as bad as it looks like, alright? In the past clip, I may have tossed out Oak, the Survive Bob, a poison type Pokemon, against Wobbuffet, the Psychic type. However, I had Bite, which is a dark time move, um, which is also super effective against a Wobbuffet, right? I almost had this in the bag. The only problem is that somehow I forgot as useless as a move pool as Wobbuffet has, right? I was like, easy, easy, I got this, right? It is also a sweeper, a run, no, no, it is also a run sweeper for a reason. This thing has insane HP stats and it's known for being the ultimate counter Pokemon literally I think the Pokedex says that and somehow slipped my mind so when it used Miracle a move I forgot had existed let's just say that explains my reaction for those that don't know what it does the move essentially returns double the damage back to the opponent if it's a special attack uh, which is the reason why in my case yeah, of the story that happened it also has a counter, it also has counter, which is the physical version of Miracle. To put things even more into perspective, it could have potentially had Destiny Bond, Encore, and the ability Shadow Tag. And let me explain this. Destiny Bond makes the foe share, so the foe in my, this case being me, the foe share the same fate, so if I were to die, no, no, so, no, no, my fault. So if it were to die, my Pokemon would have taken the death as well. Very, very bad, very bad, especially in the Nuzlocke. Very, very, very bad. Encore traps you to use the same last move you use for the next two to five turns. I think it's uh, more than two turns. And if you use a stat boost move or something really horrible, you're gonna pay for it dearly. Uh, what else? Um, and Shadow Attack is an ability which prevents the enemy from fleeing, switching out, or teleporting while the Pokemon with this ability, aka Wobbuffet, is still on the field. So I'm sure both you and I would have known what would have happened if that Wobbuffet would have had the rest of that in that. Anyways, 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 next clip, next clip. I, I, can't, I can't even bear to remember about this. Yep, except I, I gotta go. The nets. Hey, Oak. It was nice knowing you. We had good times together. You carried me through a clutch. I didn't know about Miracle, but now I know. Why did you sacrifice another Pokemon? I blame Amber. Um, I did not sacrifice you. 
I didn't even know that was gonna happen. Now I did this every single time I lost a Pokemon, which was a lot and which hurt so bad. And which was a good lesson to me, which to take every L you, t you take so far in the journey and to turn it into a W later on. And that's exactly what I did. And if I was to show you every single time I lost a Pokemon and I did this, this video would be a whole lot longer than it was. So to spare you that, you get just this, all right? All right, I'm gonna make sure to use Hyper Potions after this. Oof! Dog! Oh. And our special defense keeps going down. Someone clip that, clip that, clip that, clip that, clip <laughs> This has probably got to be one of the biggest miracles ever that has happened to me on the stream. This demonic bird, aka this Zatu right here, was the main reason I lost five Pokemon in the seventh gym, which is probably one of the biggest L's I've taken in life and one of the biggest L's I've taken in this game. Which was a big loss. Five Pokemon in the party, even bigger loss than when I lost nearly all my Pokemon in Broly in the first run and I lost my WPB which made me restart the game. This demonic bird, this Zatu, despite Zatu's strong special attack combined with Psychic which is one of the strongest Psychic type moves in existence while also constantly lowering our special defense which it somehow shouldn't have but it did WPB came through in a clutch and with one final surf Sweeps Zatu to the grave and gave us our seventh gym badge. <laughs> Claps up for WPB in chat, the real MVP. Now, while I told y'all about that seventh gym badge I got, that loss really hurt me. Five Pokemon, which I've been riding with until that point, just crushed and absolutely decimated me. This hurt me more than the Broly on the first run. Norman's gym, which was nowhere near as bad as this, but horrific. I lost five Pokemon, and I had to figure out how to pick myself up back. I had to reflect long and hard and think, what was I going to do? And how was I going to take my L's, turn them into W's, and move on forward and become the champion of this region? And you know what I did? I decided everyone else wasn't strong enough. They were far weaker than the strongest Pokemon on the gym leader's team, so I figured... All right, but no longer we're playing the childish games. We're not taking any chances. So from now on, if you see my Pokemon leveled up, you'll know that I leveled. I found out the levels of each gym leader, Elite Four and Champion, and leveled up all my Pokemon, each and every single one of them in my party, to be at least at the least at the strongest level of their strongest Pokemon. So if their strongest Pokemon was level 40, I made sure they're all level 40. If they're level 50, 50. If their strongest Pokemon was level 60, every single Pokemon on my team would be level 60. I think you get the gist. I really, at this point, was not playing no games. Without further ado. Yo, can I just restart this? Please, please, please. Oh! Are you serious? Now this right here had to be one of the biggest miracles alive. Right next to that Zatu demonic bird thing, my WPB swamp it. Managed to survive hitting itself in confusion in near death right after I lost all my other Pokemon and this was my only other one Only to be saved by the citrus berry. I gave it a point and before anyone looks at me like yes, you're an idiot Look, I forgot I gave it this and I was generally like oh Why even bother? I was still gonna restart if I had to but it was like why? And to find out that WPB had this under the belt and it took care of business, I couldn't be any prouder. I was so proud. Mind you, this was the only other Pokemon in my party I had at the time. If I lost this, I may as well have lost everything else. So, uh, WPB, 
you've done it again. Now, up until now, it's been a steady progression, but I figured, why not show y'all some of my favorite moments in between streams? The ones that don't get as much love, or my favorite moments, or just stuff that's not so heavily centered around this, and to, you know, give y'all a little refresher, a little break, before we tune into our regularly scheduled programming. Ending story. Ah. Oh. Wait, hold up. Hey, yo. If if y'all wondering, that was a spider right over my head, bruh. That was a spider right over my head. Hey, yo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm peeking into the mic right now. Bro, where did that come from? Bro, where did that come from? Yo. Yo, so someone gonna clip that, bro. Someone better clip that, man. Hey, yo. Amber, uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Hannah Montana was trash? Your childhood was trash. Okay, one more time. Haha. <laughs> Guys, we might actually do it. We might do it now. It's down for the count. It's down for the count. <laughs> Thank goodness, my guy. Thank goodness. It's down. It's down. And it's out. That was such an annoying fight. Because it has no real weaknesses. Apart from dragon. But if I put in, um, thing. My other Pokemon, it will suffer. If only y'all knew how magical this moment was to me and everyone else in attendance. To put this in perspective, this Kingdra right here was a nightmare. Not only was this thing water and dragon type, key term, dragon type, this means that it had no real weaknesses apart from other dragon types, which were rare to come across this game, and I had none whatsoever, you know. Also, it couldn't be that this was a Nuzlocke, so anyways, but, um, to, but, let, but let me continue anyways. Even my overpowered team at the time level 50 and above had a tough time with it so that's saying something after all the bloody after all the bloody double teams water pulses rests and everything else that came our way wpb finally came through in a clutch once again wp the mvp came through in a clutch and sent that overfed seahorse to the bottom of the sea where it belongs. If that ain't a victory, I don't know what is, chat. Do battle with you. Two, three, four, five, six. And not a single Pokemon fainted. Not a single one. Can you believe it? Not a single one. Saving. Don't turn off the power. I didn't intend to. <gasps> it's not a my blue. That's dude. WPP or something. Oh man, this is amazing. Rinse it! Rinse it! Ali! Let's go! <laughs> a perfect Nuzlocke? A perfect Nuzlocke indeed. Zero Abe in it. And Brostar, our Ray Quaza. <laughs> Welcome to the Hall of Fame! <laughs> this is fire, bro. This is fire. This is actually fire. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. Someone clip it. Can you believe it? 87 hours. Name, Herme. ID number, no one cares. Time, 87 hours. League champion, congratulations. Uh, but no time? <laughs> no, 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 that's Cap, that's Cap. This is probably the closest so far in life that I felt like being a proud parent. The amount of joy I felt, nothing could ever compare. I may have lost a lot of Pokemon, and by a lot, I mean a lot, through this journey. So, getting through this moment really means a lot to me, as you can see. These inanimate, non-existent creatures that I nicknamed after people in chat, they meant the world to me at this point, and I couldn't have been any prouder, so thank you.
Now this right here might honestly be one of my favorite clips from the Nuzlocke ever and Twitch in general so I'm gonna let it do the speaking for itself so go go, go watch that uh. y'all see that y'all see how beautiful that looks Pokemon Emerald version credits we did it y'all thank you to everyone who made the game to everyone who came through these streams um thank y'all I appreciate every single single one of y'all he the G man Tyin Herme Devante Brostar Sanji's a girl Ashley Ethan Zero Rigdon there's so many people there's so many people yes thank y'all to everyone who came by these streams uh Ali Dude, there's so many names, Lily. That's crazy. Ace, thank y'all to each and every single one of y'all. Y'all made this moment possible. And sorry about that, Ash. This thing be tripping, bro. Uh, glad to be here. Thank you for coming through. Oh, I remember this beef. Apple. All the Pokemon in the box, tie it, all of y'all. Cause y'all watch me during those moments when the streams are boring. When we're just grinding the Pokemon to like level 50, level 60 after we lost nearly all of them. You remember when we lost them to the 5th gym? Nearly all of them? We lost Lily and some other Pokemon, Hariyama? Um, oh Broly, yeah. And then the 7th gym we lost, fi we lost 5 Pokemon. And Hermé, Amber, do you guys remember when I said after the first run, when I lost my starter, that I refuse to win without losing my starter. And guess what? I won with my starter intact. Never died. Not once. And the one thing I said before, thank you for the hearts, thank you for the love, I appreciate it. And the one thing I said before is that I always, that when I was going to finish this Nuzlocke, I was going to do it right. So no cutting corners. If a Pokemon died, I put it out. Unless it was some weird technicality. Amazing. And guess what? I finished my first Pokemon Nuzlocke. I did it right. No cheating, no cutting corners. And we're here. It's kind of crazy. The ending came a lot sooner than I expected it to. And I want to thank each and every one of y'all to chat. And shout out to my lurkers as well. I appreciate y'all. Don't think I don't recognize y'all as well. My lurkers, my chatters, subs, followers, mods, you name it, you name it. The people to raid every one of y'all. Thank y'all. Because of y'all, moments like these happen. Damn, it's crazy. The end. Ah, uh, that's fire. That's fire. Just think about it. We really did this. Ah. Uh.